Well, after a day of skiing or snowboarding, when you get down the mountain, there is often a delicious, mm. delicious spot to stop called the Waffle Cabin. Yeah, but it's now part you of the don't... experience. Exactly, but you don't need to freeze or be athletic to try the waffles. You just have to be like me, hungry <laughs> and heavy. A new <laughs> shop just opened in South Windsor. Peter Kreif, the owner of Waffle Cabin, is here to give us a little taste this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank, Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure me. to see so you. nice to see Absolutely. you. How did you nice get involved with this? I'm yeah. just so curious. Oh, well, uh, to make a very long story short is um, it was actually an idea of my second dad who, when I wanted to come to America from Belgium, who said, hey, Peter, why don't you do something with waffles? I was in a completely different industry. And I said, like, Eddie, I don't know anything about waffles. I know people who know people. Got me in touch with Leo, blah, 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 and Leo, ended up... Leo, the, the head honcho of the Waffle Cabin, right? Leo is actually my t my mentor in wow. Belgium. Oh, my word. Wow, And that's he incredible. trained me um, working in his... Um, in his uh, retail locations and making the dough and because making waffles it looks very easy but this no, waffle is a little bit different and so I worked with him and at some point um, come up with the, the you said you know what like Nike says just do it just do it and these waffles are very different than a breakfast waffle per se correct it's it's like uh, comparing chicken meat and lamb meat they're both meat <laughs> but they're completely, completely different. different okay i feel like we're in waffle royalty right now peter that's <laughs> oh, amazing my goodness gracious oh so um so how, how does one make these beautiful liege waffles so if you look at this here the, so the first thing that obviously you'll see is instead of a batter it's made of a dough mm -hmm. it's a yeast raised dough yeast is a natural leavener that when it makes the dough rise it will not only make it rice, but it also gives it flavor. Mm. Oh. And so that is one huge difference between what they call a chemical leaf, or like baking soda, for instance. So that's that. But then the other part that's very different is like when you guys have your other, your Belgian waffle, as you call it, um, which we actually don't even have in Belgium. <laughs> it's kind of like a copy of another waffle. Um, uh, you know the Americans. Yeah, <laughs> right. But um, yeah, like you guys will put like butter and maple syrup in it. So we, for instance, we have in this waffle, there's butter in it already. Mm. We put the butter in the dough. There is the pearl sugar that will caramelize. There's the vanilla. Mm. So all of that together makes it the way that I basically describe this waffle is it's sort of like a mix between a pastry and a cookie. Okay. Pastry and a cookie. So you really yeah, don't okay. need anything else because it just stands alone as a, a, so that's an amazing the, experience, indeed. right? Indeed, and that's the funny part. When people come to our place, when, I've, when I see that or when I feel that they haven't had a waffle, I will always try tell them, try it original. It right. really doesn't need anything. And you can load it up with different things, but if you want to get that real sense of what it is, you try it original and you'll be blown away by how good it is. Is this ready to go? I think this one should be ready to go right now. Yep. All right. So let me get I'm this guy going so you can that. see that's that. Oh, yeah. And that's so, the holy grail of waffle makers. It is. <laughs> now, I, I love how this all started out. Uh, well, where was the first location? Was well, it at Quincy Market? The very first one was indeed in Boston okay. at Quincy Market. And um, we gave it for two seasons. But one of the things is it actually didn't work well. Oh. And um, in retrospect, I'm actually happy that it didn't work well because I learned a lot from it and by analyzing why is it not working and then we tried different things and one was working a little bit and one was again not working one was working again a little bit and i started trying to analyze why what is it doing it and it came um, it resulted in me trying to say you know what ski resorts that is one right. of the things and, and you when opened we, up in 99 at killington right and killington was our very first season that they gave us a shot and um after one week <laughs> we could feel like this thing can run a marathon. This thing can run. Uh, it, it just so can run and run and run. How do you know not to burn it? Well, normally I got my timer here. I didn't want to beep it, uh, but I know it's about a, a three minutes. Oh, three and so, minutes. So yeah, because okay. you obviously you can't see. So typically in our waffle cabins, we'll put a timer here, and we know when the timer is. We set the temperature so that we. Yeah. And, and again, you don't recommend maple syrup. No, if you put like extra maple syrup, 
that's like putting sugar on sugar. Mm. Oh, that it's, doesn't sound bad to me. <laughs> so, I, I'm very curious. In, in, yeah, right? In if Belgium, you're looking for a sugar high, yeah. yeah. In Belgium, is this something along the ski resorts that is offered, or is no. that kind of a new tradition you created no. here in America? It is. It's, Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's it's amazing. completely new. In he Belgium, we don't even. That's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> we, it, it was kind of a, a good luck uh, epiphany, and. Um, but yeah, it, it ended up working. It's what I call a bullseye niche market. It works mm. well. But not only ski resorts, because the one like in, in South Windsor yeah. at Evergreen, um, it's not a ski resort, it's at the shopping center. And oh, it's at Evergreen. It's a, okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a grab and go kind of yeah. snack. Right. And so right. people are shopping around and they get a little hungry, and the aroma is what oh, really yeah. is the marketing. You can smell it. This whole studio. Yeah. <laughs> this whole studio. Everybody in the newsroom is like clamoring to get in here to try one of these waffles, which yeah. is incredible. So, 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 yeah, even in winter um, at the shops at Evergreen, it's, it's working well. That's great. So it seems like outdoor experiences with this grab Correct. and go seems to be like the best way to eat this. Outdoor <laughs> ideal. You could put it in like a mall in an enclosed, yeah. but outdoor is, yes, it yeah. definitely, because the aroma will go out and when you smell it, it's, I, the way that I call it is basically, it's like this pretty girl in a bikini saying waffles <laughs> or a hunky guy saying waffles. <laughs> and now, it just works. It. Peter, how do you stay so thin being around so many waffles? When you work about 16 hours a day, you keep oh. you stay thin. Yeah. You stay well, thin. funny because he works 16 hours yeah, a day. Yeah, that's true. Right. You know I, mean? yeah. um, I work, uh, yeah, I do, we, I help with our deliveries. I just, yeah. That's and I guess it's right. part of my yeah. DNA as well. That's all right. We have about a minute left in our show. Should we try How it? long does it usually take to make one of those? Take, take three about minutes. three minutes. Okay. And we should be pretty much all ready okay. to go for this one. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, look at that, that color. That is. Ernie, get in here. So that is how basically, and you see is. like it's got that caramel a little bit Isn't on it. that yeah. spectacular? So while it's cooking, some of that pearl sugar will caramelize and it gives that extra taste when sugar caramelizes it goes from white very sweet mm -hmm. to a little darker where it starts to get a little bit less sweet but it gets a little extra flavor and you want to find that right balance and shape. that's what basically this waffle will do it's like creme brulee like you know when you're when you're torching the sugar on top Correct. right so actually i'm gonna this is i'm gonna give you the oh, authentic yeah. way okay yes all right let's pretend we just got off the ski slope so this is basically it's like i say like a grab and go all right. Like this? We're going to eat this Thank over you. on the wax. Peter. Careful, it is still very hot. Thank you so much for being with us, Peter. We oh so appreciate gosh. that. Of course, the Waffle, uh, Waffle Cabin is here to stay. Check them out in South Windsor. Thank you so much, Yes, Peter. indeed. Thank you so much, Peter. Yeah. Enjoy.